I'm Shira Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and Artist Tablet books. In this video, we will explore using selection brushes and we will make a custom selection brush. For those new to digital painting, a selection is an animated marquee, often referred to as the marching ants, that allows us to isolate a portion of our artwork. Here I'm going to paint a stroke with one of the default selection brushes and as you see we have a hatched pattern here if I choose edit fill I can fill this selection area and I'm going to do command D control D to deselect as you can see I filled the selected area with a color without editing the rest of my image for my drawing of the sanderling shown here, I painted a selection to isolate the bird from the background. And we're going to create the brush that I used to paint the selection. Selection brushes can include grain and varied opacity. For my purpose here, I want to create a selection brush with a round dab that will give me 100% coverage and I want that brush to have a smooth anti-aliased edge. The brush will not select based on texture. To begin creating the brush, choose the pens and pencils category and the flat color pen to variant in the brush selector right here. If you don't have your general brush controls open, you can open it by clicking the gear icon right here. So let's change the dab type from computed circular to circular. To turn this into a selection brush, we're going to go to the method pop-up menu right here and we're going to change it from cover to selection. Now the subcategory is going to change to new selection and that's what we want. You may notice up in the property bar that the texture appeared right here. We don't want this to have a textured edge so we're going to turn the texture paper grain down to zero. And now that we have the settings that we want we're going to save our variant. We're going to go to the brushes menu and choose save variant and I'm going to put it down here in my selection brushes and we're going to call this flat color selection. So name and save your variant. Click save. Next we'll paint and build our selection. As you brush over an area to paint your selection you'll notice a color overlay appears to help you with the selected area. Keep your pressure down to paint a single selection. So I'm just going to continue here brushing over my bird to paint a single selection over the body. Now you see I have the body selected. To save your selection choose Select Save Selection. Save to New and click OK. To select the beak and the legs, we need to size down our brush. So we're going to size it down a bit more. Now we've painted a selection for the beak. We're going to go up and we're going to choose Select, Save Selection, Alpha 1, and we're going to choose Add to Mask. Now we're going to paint a selection for this leg. And we're going to choose Select Save Selection, Alpha 1, Add to Mask, Deselect, and we're going to paint a selection for the other leg. And we're going to choose Select Save Selection, Alpha 1, Add to Mask. You can view your mask in the channels panel. So here I've clicked the eye icon to turn the alpha on and off. Now how do we use our selection? Select, load selection. Here we have our selection. We could make changes to our bird. We could add a color tint to our bird if we wanted to.
like so, or we could invert our selection, and with our selection inverted, we could make edits to the backgrounds. For instance, we could choose effects, tonal control, adjust colors, and if we wanted to put more focus on our bird and less on our background, we could turn the saturation down on the background. So I hope you enjoyed making a selection brush with me and seeing some possibilities for using your brush. Happy painting! Thank you.